the difference between a USDA organic versus a traditional product? The National Organic Program was adopted in 1990, but it really is nothing more than a marketing ploy. There's actually no um, criteria for nutrition or safety in the National Organic Program whatsoever. And are you saying that there's no benefit to going? So not only is there no benefit, they actually are worse for the farmers. They're often worse for the environment because they'll target non-target species. No health benefit. There's no nutritional advantage. I'd like disclosure of who we work for. I don't work for oh. anybody. Is there a chemical-based um Payment for oh, it's it. the paid shill comment. Yeah, she thinks I'm a paid shill because I'm defending. I, I'm, I'm curious. So I'd like I to make love, sure. I this one got me good, I must say, and it never fails to surprise me how quickly the pay by big chemical comment comes out whenever they hear something they don't agree with. That's cool. Dr. Love is great, and what she's saying here on Dr. Mike's podcast is absolutely true. The organic food hype has very much been exposed. This recent systematic review of 147 papers from all over the world found that A, it was not possible to identify a generalized superiority of organic foods over conventional ones, B, superiority claims could only be made for specific comparisons depending on the food, C, a particular organic food may be superior in a given nutrient and inferior in another one compared to its conventional equivalent, and D, specific organic foods may also have a higher content of certain heavy metals than their conventional counterparts. And no, it was not funded by Big Roundup. Now many of my American followers turn around and say, well, we turn to organic food to avoid pesticides, but that's misleading too. Because organic foods in the US still use pesticides, and quite often they're not actually safer. Take copper sulfate for example, which is on the approved list of organic pesticides. The lethal dose 50 or LD50 of copper sulfate, which is the dose required to kill 50% of the rat group in studies, is around 350 milligrams per kilogram. Whereas the synthetic pesticide fluoxystrobin has an LD50 of over 2,000 milligrams per kilogram, which means copper sulfate is at least six times more toxic than this synthetic pesticide. Or take Mancozeb, another synthetic pesticide which has an LD50 of over 4,500, which means copper sulfate is at least 13 times more toxic. So the idea that organic pesticides are safer or less toxic is also not true. And get this, blind taste tests between conventional and organic food have also been done. And they found that people with strong beliefs in organic and local food rated the taste of the respective labelled version significantly higher, suggesting that someone's belief about organic food can play a stronger role in their taste perception than the actual taste for certain people. So if you want to eat organic food and you can afford it, that's absolutely fine, but don't go around claiming that it's healthier for you because it's not. That's